Hey, this is Renee from Renee's Bookends, and today we're going to do a book haul. Um, I'm going to do some books by some authors that have sent me some books, and some books that I got that I bought myself from Book Outlet. Okay, here we go. I'm excited about this. I found Harry Potter books on Book Outlet for $6 each. I got Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I have the first two books in the UK version already. They're in hardback, but these, they're in paperback, but they look identical to the ones in hardback. They're awesome. They are so pretty, so pretty. I am so excited to have these, so excited. So, I got these. Uh, okay. And I got The Wrath and the Dawn. I've been waiting to get this book for the longest time now. It's, a, it's in paperback, so I'll have to wait till the paperback version comes of the second book. But, um... It's in the cover that I wanted. I didn't want the new cover that they've got with just the girl on there. I wanted this cover. And when I seen this cover on Book Outlet and Soft Cover, I had to get it. And I am so excited. I got it and I have it on my Kindle, but it's not as good as having it in the book. So I got that too. Now, I got Evelyn Vaughn, Evelyn Vaughn Brideshead Revisited. Now, I thought this looked interesting whenever I seen it. It has a pretty cover. Look at it. It's a very pretty cover. And... It says, heartbreakingly beautiful, the 20th century's finest English novel. The wellsprings of desire and the impediments to love come brilliantly into focus in, in Evelyn Waugh's masterpiece, a novel that immerses us in the glittering and seductive world of English aristocrats. I can never say that right. Aristocracy in the waning days of the empire. Through the story of Charles Ryder's entanglement with the flights, a great Catholic family, Waugh charts the passing of the privileged world he knew in his own youth and vividly recalls the pleasures denied him by the wartime Austerites. At once romantic, sensuous, comic, and somber, Brideshead Revisited transcends Waugh's early Satri I am just butchering this up. Anyway, it is. it looks so good. It looks really good. And when I seen it, and it was had such a pretty cover, I had to get it. So yes, this is what I got. It might not be your cup of tea, but I got it. I love it. I got it. Okay. Now... This is when they were had the 50% off sale, and um, I mean the 50% off, 50% off, and it was awesome. Okay, I got The Last Battle. It is the seventh book of the Chronicles of Narnia. Look at this cover. This cover is gorgeous. It's just, oh, it's so beautiful. I couldn't resist it. I had to get it. So, yes. I got it. I don't have the other ones. I've got The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I don't have The Magician's Nephew or The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, but I will get them. But I had to get this one. Oh, I love it. Mwah, love it. And this one, oh gosh, look at this. The Emerald City of Oz. Oh my gosh, books six through the 10 of the Oz series. 
Look how thick that is. Look how pretty that looks. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. And it has some illustrations in it. And it's just, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. It's so pretty. When I seen that, I had to get it. Had to get it. So I got it. Okay. I got that too. Okay. Now my last book from Book Outlet. This one has been on my wish list for a very long time. So it might be books that y'all have had for a while, but to me, I've been needing them. And a couple that I just threw in. Okay, Clockwork Princess. I've got all the other books except for this one. And some are over there that I've already read. Some are right there that I haven't read. So I've got this. Oh, and another one that's in here. So I got that. Look how pretty. And it has the cover that I want. The old cover. I don't want the new covers. I... I, um... I like the old covers. So I got it. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> okay. I got... The Bane Chronicles in hardback. I didn't want it in softback, which it's out now, which all the stores, if you go around, they, they have it in softback. Uh, I got it in hardback. So, yes. And it has exclusive bonus story. And it's just perfect. Perfect, perfect. It has little illustrations in it. Little comic things at the beginning of each story and it's just 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 perfect i've been wanting this for the longest time and i finally got it so i got it okay i got this book uh writers by veronica rossi i've been wanting this for a while too it is it says while recovering from the accident that most definitely killed him, um, Gideon finds himself with strange new powers and a bizarre cuff he can't remove. His death has brought to life his real destiny. He has become War, one of the legendary four horsemen of the apocalypse. Over the coming weeks, he and the other horsemen, conquest, famine, and death are brought together by a beautiful but frustratingly secretive girl to help save humanity from an ancient evil on the emergence. They fail, now bound, bloodied, and drugged. Gideon is interrogated by the authorities about his role in a battle that has become an international incident. If he stands any chance of saving his friends and the girl he's fallen for, not to mention all of humankind, he needs to convince the skeptical government officials the world is in imminent danger, but will anyone believe him? Look at that cover. This story sounds awesome. Just, it's worth it. And this has been on my list for a while, too. I'm surprised they still had it. So, yes, I got this. I'm, I'm happy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I got this story too that's been on my list for a while. The Brilliant Light of Amber Sunrise. I know a lot of y'all know what this is because y'all have talked about it. And um, Francis has plans to come into his own, forging his way in school and life despite his loony, awkward, broken family and noticeable lack of friends. Then he is diagnosed with leukemia. It wasn't part of his strategy, but there are moments when he can see the upside. After all, people are nice to you when you are sick. While in the hospital, Francis meets fellow patient Amber, fierce, tough, one-of-a-kind Amber. He falls for her hard. Together, they take on the other cancer ward patients. 
overbearing mothers and treatments, but Francis's recovery is taking a different path from Amber's. He's actually getting better, and although he knew he, who he was before cancer, before Amber, he has no idea who he is or how to live when she is in the hospital and not by his side. It sounds like it might be a little bit sad, but also has some light part to it. I thought it sounded all good. It says, do you know the best things about stars? What? They're all dead, but we can see to still see them. When we look up, it's like we're looking in a million different memories, a million different versions of something that used to be that's not romantic. Either it's just science, it's a bit romantic. I tried to argue. No, it's not, she said. It's real, and that's what's important. That's on the back. It just, I wanted this, so got it. Okay, and one of the last books I needed in my thing, my series, Stars Above in the Lunar Chronicles, I am also getting Winter that is coming from the UK right now. It's on its way, and um, it's y'all know what this story is about. I don't need to tell you, so I got it. It's in hardback. All my other copies uh, up here are in paperback, but this is in hardback. It's nice. It was on sale, um, and I got it. Okay, the last two books are a series um, by Katie Crouch. Uh, I got the Mongolia League and the white clove war um it says by birth 16 year old alexandria lee is rightful of unwilling member of the magnolia lee a long-standing debutante society in savannah georgia alex is the first in decades to question the magnolia league's intentions yet even she becomes entangled in its seductive world the members enjoy youth, beauty, and power, but at what cost? As Alex discovers a pact between the Magnolia and the Buzzards, a legendary hoodoo family, she unearths secrets, some deadly hidden between, beneath the glossy southern veneer. So that's that one. And the second one says, Money, Beauty, Power, and Love, the youngest members of magnolia league have it all armed with spells potions and conjures from the powerful buzzard family the magnolias have bought their luck in an unimaginable price um sounds like an interesting book both of them do so i got those and i got some books that i bought just along the way um that i thought it might show you i got replica um lira and Gemma. it's beautiful this book is gorgeous you take this off you got that just beautiful i know you all have heard about this book um it's a dystopian novel about um from a distance, the Haven Institute tucked away from a private island off the coast of Florida, which I live in Florida, looks serene and even beautiful, but up close, the locked doors, military guards, and biohazard suits sell a different story. In truth, it is a clandestine research facility where thousands of replicas or human models are born, raised, and observed. It's about two of them, and you can read this one story at a time one goes this way the other goes that way in the book or you can read one chapter one chapter one chapter one chapter you just go back and forth but it's really it's supposed to be a really good book so i got that one i got city of dark magic it's supposed to be uh, i got this from books a million for 397 uh, once a city of enormous wealth and culture, Prague has been 
home to emperors, alchemists, astronomers, and it's even been whispered portals. Um, when music student Sarah, I hate this, I put my glasses on again. When Sarah Weston lands a lucrative summer job at a Prague castle cataloging Beethoven's manuscripts, she has no idea how dangerous her life is about to become. Shortly after she arrives, strange things begin to happen. Sarah Lee learns her mentor, who has been working at the castle, may not have committed suicide after all. Soon she finds herself in a cloak and dagger chase with a handsome time-traveling prince, a 400-year-old dwarf and a u.s senator who will do anything to keep her dark secrets hidden fast-paced and wildly imaginative city of dark magic could be called a rom-com paranormal suspense novel or it could simply be called one of the most entertaining novels of the year i like mysteries and i like um who did it and things like that so that's why this appealed to me so i got this and this appealed to me, the 13th sign, because I'm a Sagittarius. And this is about what if there was a 13th zodiac sign? You're no longer Sagittarius, but Ophicius, the healer, the 13th sign. Your personality has changed. So is your mom's and your best friend's. What about the rest of the world? What if you were the, the one who accidentally unlocked the 13th sign causing this world altering change and infuriating the other 12 signs? I just thought it'd be interesting because I am a Sagittarius. I thought I'd give it a go. And it was only $3.97 at Books A Million. So I also got my book buddy has been telling me to get this for a while all the bright places it was only 4.97 so i got that and no need to tell anybody what this is about everybody pretty much knows and i finally got this i finally got the first two books and anna and the french kiss Lola and the Boy Next Door. I wasn't able to get the third one yet, but I did get the first two, and I've been wanting to get them for a while. So I got those two. And I got John Green and an Abundance of Catherines. I got the Anna and the French Kiss and this one all at Chamberlain Book Mine. That's our local bookstore that um, sells books for half price, some 10% off the cost if you get some in brand new. And um, these were all half price. And I've been hearing a lot about this book. So I want to read it. And I got it. So... Uh, one more thing I want to tell you is I went and got my hair cut and straightened. It's not usually straight. It's usually curly. And my one of my, I used to call her my daughter. Um, she is a very good friend of mine. Autumn, Abu, well, Autumn Austin now. Um, here's her business card right there. She straightened and cut my hair. Thank you, Autumn and she is located at um, or her facebook.com slash autumn nicole austin telephone number 904-614-8792 if you want to get in touch with her and get your hair cut thank you for everybody listening and being patient i know this was a long one and um the next one i'll do um will have to be a book review. Okay, thank you. Have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye. I forgot to say, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's the only way I know that you enjoy my videos. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.